Hello, and welcome to session seven of the UVM Basics course here on Verification Academy, monitors and subscribers. I'm Tom Fitzpatrick, Strategic Verification Architect here at Siemens EDA. And in this session, we're going to be talking about monitors and subscribers, which are the passive components in a UVM system that perform coverage collecting and checking. So in our agent, we've already talked about how the sequencer sends transactions to the driver, which then converts those into pinwiggles on the dot. The monitor's job is to actually look at those pinwiggles, recognize the activity, and assemble transaction objects from that, and pass that up into the verification environment for further analysis. The way we do that is through something we call an analysis port. So similar to the way the driver and the sequencer communicate, the monitor will use the analysis port to send a transaction up to a subscriber. So the subscriber is connected to the analysis port. The subscriber has an analysis export in it. And the interesting thing about an analysis port is that it can be connected to any number of subscribers, including zero. These subscribers, because they are actually dealing with a handle to a transaction object, may not modify the transaction object because then that modification will be reflected in any other subscriber that also has a handle to that same object. So if a subscriber is going to modify the contents of the transaction, it must make a copy first. So the monitor, and also as we'll see an agent, has an analysis port that can be connected to multiple subscribers. And each of those subscribers can behave as a coverage collector or a scoreboard or some other analysis component. The monitor is extended from the UVM monitor base class. Again, this is to communicate the intent that we want this thing to be a monitor. It's registered with the factory, and we declare the analysis port as part of the monitor. There's also a virtual interface in the monitor, because that's how we will see the pin level activity. And then in the build phase, we construct the analysis port. Notice that we're actually using the constructor new here instead of the factory method create. And this is because the analysis port is always going to be the same type of object. We're never going to use the factory to override the analysis port. It will always be an analysis port parameterized by the transaction object. So using the constructor is perfectly fine. In the run phase of the monitor, we need to recognize what's going on on the bus. So at the positive edge of the clock, we will create a transaction object to hold the information that is being communicated across the virtual interface. We capture that information, put it inside the transaction object, and then that transaction object gets communicated to the rest of the system by calling the right method of the analysis port. So in a similar way to the sequencer and the driver, having the driver call the get next item method of its sequence item port, the monitor calls the right method of the analysis port. And when we connect it to an analysis export, the analysis export supplies the implementation of the right method. So in an agent, we have the monitor recognizing the transaction, writing it out its analysis port. And now we need to propagate that up so that the agent can pass that information out to the environment. So the agent will also have an analysis port. So in a typical agent, we will include the analysis port in the declaration and then in the build phase, we again use the constructor to construct the analysis port for the agent. We use the factory to create the sequencer, the driver, and the monitor, because these may want to be overridden through the factory. And then in the connect phase in the agent, we connect the analysis port of the monitor to the analysis port of the agent at the top level. So this allows the transaction as recognized from the monitor to be communicated out through the agent's analysis port and from there to whatever subscriber may be connected to it. So in the environment, we declare a subscriber. And in the build phase, we use the factory to create an instance of that subscriber. And here we're using the factory because the subscriber is very application specific. It will have coverage or checking or some other thing that is tied very tightly to your particular verification plan. So by using the factory, we can replace one subscriber with another that may have another cover group to look at a different aspect of your verification plan without having to create a completely new environment. In the connect phase, we connect the agent's analysis port to the analysis export of the subscriber. So the subscriber supplies the implementation of the write method that gets called from way down in the monitor. 
So the subscriber will take that transaction that is communicated through the write method and do something with it. So in the subscriber, which we extend from the UVM subscriber base class, parameterized by the transaction type again, we register with the factory. And the reason we use the UVM subscriber base type is that it already includes an analysis export instantiated in the base class, so we don't have to rewrite that. So the only thing we have to do for the subscriber is fill in the details of the write method, which is the function that gets called when the monitor actually calls analysis port dot write. So inside of the subscriber, we may have a set of coverage registers. These are things to hold information about the transaction. There will most likely be a cover group or some other data structure to be able to see what's going on. Cover group is nice because it allows us to record information about the transactions into the coverage database. So we may look at the type of command, the address, the data. There may be cross cover points in here. And again, the cover group is really what defines what it is we're looking for based on the contents of our verification plan. So inside the write method, we will take the information out of the transaction that is passed in as the argument, copy that to the covered registers, and then call the sample method of the cover group so we can actually record that information in the coverage database. So again, in the agent, we have on the monitoring side, we have the monitor connected to the virtual interface to recognize the pin level activity that is supplied by the driver, gather that information, put it into a transaction object and communicate that transaction object out through its analysis port up through the agent's analysis port to the rest of the environment. So that's it for this session of UVM basics, monitors and subscribers. Please stay tuned for the next session.